Hi everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez, host of the Weekly Report, your look at news and services provided by the Departments of the City of Kansas City, Missouri. Believe it or not, it's already back to school time. To help cut costs for families with school-aged children, the city will participate in a sales tax holiday. It runs from Friday, August 2nd through Sunday, August 4th. Shoppers who buy certain items like clothing, shoes, school supplies, and computers in Kansas City, Missouri stores will not have to pay any city sales tax. Residents needing home repairs or improvements may be eligible to receive the city's assistance. Several of the city's housing improvement programs are currently accepting applications. This includes the home weatherization, emergency home repair, and targeted minor home repair programs. To learn how you can participate, visit kcmo.org slash home repair. The city's performance management efforts have been recognized by the International City-County Management Association. For the second consecutive year, the ICMA's Center for Performance Management awarded Kansas City, Missouri's performance management with a certificate of excellence. This is its highest level of recognition. Only 27 other communities nationwide received this honor. For more information about the city's performance management efforts, visit kcmo.org slash performance. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments for information and insights. Hi, I'm Janet O'Hagan with Kansas City Convention and Entertainment Facilities. An exciting and nostalgic evening awaits with an upcoming concert by the Spinners and the Emotions called an evening of classic R&B. The concert begins at 8 p.m. Saturday, August 17th at Kemper Arena. The legendary Spinners are known for such R&B classics as Mighty Love, Then Came You, and I'll Be Around. The Emotions, an all-female soul and R&B group, are best known for the hit single, The Best of My Love. Tickets are available at the Municipal Auditorium Box Office or through Ticketmaster.com. Also during August, KC is hosting three large conventions at the Kansas City Convention Center. The American Academy of Family Physicians will hold its national meeting here August 1st through 3rd. This three-day event is designed for family medicine residents and medical students and offers many educational workshops. Another event, the Central Veterinary Conference draws veterinarians from across the world on August 21st through the 26th. The conference offers lectures, workshops, hands-on labs, and team training for vets and their teams. A related meeting of the American Holistic Veterinary Medical Association overlaps the previous event on August 24th through 26th. This conference explores and supports alternative and complementary approaches to animal wellness. Please be sure to welcome all of our visitors to Kansas City with a big KC smile. To learn about additional events, visit kcconvention.com and click on the events calendar or call 816-513-5000. There's an old joke. If a person who speaks two languages is bilingual, what's a person called who speaks just one language? An American. Well, that isn't necessarily the case with KCPD. Guten Tag, ich heiße Sigrid Frederick. Wie kann ich Ihnen helfen? Man, Alireza Oromju. چطور می توانم به شما کمک بکنم؟ Gina Langwini Detective Frank Roraba, Niku Sadiaje. We have over 50 employees that speak two languages, everything from Spanish to Swahili, and we aren't talking just about being able to ask for directions. We spoke with Human Resource Supervisor Renee Gatewood. Any department members that test and are on our bilingual call list do receive an incentive skill pay. You do have to be fluent and achieve a, a certain level of testing. We use a company called The Language Line, which is a spoken language testing service and they have people available that speak most every language that you can imagine and you actually do a, a verbal test over the telephone with them. 
If you pass the test and you're on the call list, you only have to test once every three years. If you don't pass, you can test every year. We do have a Spanish immersion program and several people that have gone through that program do come in and test and end up on our bilingual call list and receive the skill pay. We have people on the call list that speak Swahili, French, German, Farsi, Igbo. Our communications unit keeps the list on hand and our bilingual employees seem to always drop everything they are doing to assist officers and the public whenever they're needed. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Hi, this is Heidi Downer with Parks and Recreation and today we are down at Brush Creek on the plaza for the ninth annual Dragon Boat Festival and Races. Welcome to the 2013 Dragon Boat Races. This has been a Kansas City tradition since 2004, and I'm really happy to have the opportunity to be here with you again. Uh, I do want to take credit for the weather. Uh, it was all my idea. Uh, it's only... Thank you, Jim. Now, I want you to also remember in the winter, when it snows, that's all the city manager's idea. <laughs> We have an extremely vital and vital culture in this city. We are a city that welcomes everyone. We are a city of many people from many places, many lands. But the one thing that I can tell you is regardless of what community you decide that you want to associate with, in Kansas City, we're all one big community. And that's what this Dragon Boat Race is about. Though the approaching school year may be the last thing on your child's mind this summer, for your own peace of mind as a parent, it should never be far from yours. As the summer winds down, you may find yourself rushing around to buy backpacks, clothes, and other back-to-school supplies. So why risk forgetting their back-to-school immunizations? With rule changes over the last few years, children must have their immunizations before they can attend most school districts in Kansas City. If you get your children up to date on their vaccinations now, you won't have to worry about them missing school when the summer break ends. Call your family doctor to set up an appointment to get their immunizations or drop by the health department during regular clinic hours and get them taken care of all at once. If you haven't had a Tdap booster to protect yourself against tetanus or your family against pertussis or whooping cough, you can get that while you wait. The earlier you can come in the summer to beat the rush, the shorter your wait time will be to get vaccinated. The health department will also hold a special back-to-school immunization clinic on Saturday, August 10th from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. For more information on immunizations, you can call us at 816-513-6108 or visit our website www.kcmo.org slash health. Looking ahead now, residents with public improvement ideas are encouraged to attend the final neighborhood hearing of the Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC. The hearing will take place Tuesday, July 30th, starting at 6.30 at the Greg Kleiss Community Center. 
PIAC funds are collected through the city's half-cent sales tax, and it's used for capital improvements projects, such as street improvements. And this includes curbs and sidewalks, drainage projects, and parks and recreation upgrades. For more information or to submit a suggestion, please visit kcmo.org slash PIAC. The city's Human Relations Department will host the 7th Annual Kansas City Government Contracting and Procurement Forum. It's Tuesday, August 6th at Bartle Hall. This public forum will showcase government contracting and procurement opportunities to businesses in the Kansas City metropolitan area. To find out more information or to register, visit kcgcp.org. The city's Neighborhood Advisory Council is accepting applications for its 15-member council. The council meets monthly to discuss proposed city policies and makes recommendations to the director of the Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department. They also participate in other related events. This includes public hearings and forums. Interested candidates must apply by Monday, August 19th. Applications are available right now at kcmo.org slash kcnac or at the Neighborhoods and Housing Services Department, which is on the fourth floor of City Hall. For more information about this or any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.org, scroll down to the bottom right-hand corner, and click on the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.